Kumusta ka mo? Hi, it's Victoria. In today's video, I am going to review and make three looks of my favorite Pat McGrath uh, Blitz Astral Palette. So this is actually my first four pan palette from Pat McGrath. This is the packaging. Come on, like, hello. Oh, beautiful. And then I think she has two shades that are dual chrome, which is this one. It shifts to like purplish. I'm not sure about this. It kind of shifts also into green. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, this was love at first sight for this palette and we're gonna try them out with three looks. If you haven't watched yet how I do the base of my makeup or how I usually do it, then here's the link to that video. Actually, I need the help of my Pat McGrath Mothership um, 8 because I need a transition color and mattes for this. Using my Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush, I'm going to get this shade right here. And I'm just going to make a transition. So using a windshield wiper motion, um, that's what I'm doing right now, and then just swipe it more here. I'm gonna add a bit um, until here. So using my Pat McGrath Permagel Liner, and make like a wing. Okay, just, just like that, um, because I'm gonna blend that out. Using my Linda Hallberg 303 brush. It's blending out the well. And I'm also going to put some on the inner corner of my eye. Using my Zoeva 234, I'm going to use this color right here. I'm just using a dry brush and wow, that is really intense. I'm gonna define my wing a bit more here. The same on the inner corner. Then I'm gonna swipe it more to the center. Then to add more definition on the center, I am going to use my Linda Hallberg 305 brush and I'm going to use this shade right here. And I'm gonna apply it on the center lid. And then I'm gonna go back again to this shade right here. Just gonna blend that out easily. And there you have it. It's simple as that, but um, Let's add a bit of twist to it. Using my Real Techniques shading brush, I'm gonna go back again to this color right, and I'm gonna define this part. And then what I'm gonna do is with the same brush and shade, I'm going to apply it on my lower waterline. Using Zoeva 234, I'm going to use this shade right here and apply a halo effect on my lower waterline. Using my Zoeva 230, I'm going to use this shade right here. Oh, and I also applied this on my lower waterline center. Using my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. There you go. Using my Linda Hallberg 300, I am going to wet my brush with Urban Decay and I'm going to use this color right here. Okay, no, that was the wrong brush. I'm gonna use my Mermaid Beauty Detailed Brush. Much better. Apply some black eyeliner um, on my lower waterline. Using my Zoeva 234, I'm going to use this shade right here. And that's it for this look. I'm just going to put on falsies and get back to you. And this is the final look for this side. Now let's get on to this side. So for this eye, using my Pat McGrath 
permagel. I am going to make like um, a wing here. Then I'm gonna do something like this. Using my Linda Hallberg 303, I am going to do this and blend it. So this is like technically putting everything in your eye. I'm just gonna clean this up. Using my Zoeva 230, I'm going to use this shade right here and I'm going to put it here on the inner corner of my eye. Using my Zoeva 305, I'm going to use this color right here. I'm just gonna stop somewhere here. Using it again, my Linda Hallberg 303. I'm gonna blend this. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my Zoeva 234 and use this shade right here. And I'm gonna apply that on the outer corner. And then bring it up here a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna blend out the edges with a LH303. Using my Sigma E32, I'm going to use this shade right here and apply it here. Now I'm just going to put on some falsies. And this is the final look for this side. Now let's get on with our third and final look. Okay, so for our next look, um, we're going to like do this. Using my Bobbi Brown Black Ink Longwear Gel Eyeliner and Linda Hallberg 303. I'm just going to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna start from here up until I reach this one. I'm not sure why it's not doing anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath, line it like that, make a wing, and then using again my LH303, I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, I'm just gonna peel this off, I wanna see. So I'm just going to clean this up. Using my swish brush, I am going to need the help of Pat McGrath Mothership 8. I'm going to use this color right here. Using my Sigma E60, I'm going to take this color right here. And I'm gonna apply it on the inner corner towards here. Mm, okay, I'm taking my LH305, same color, onto my inner corner, right there. So I got it wrong that time because it's like, why is it so thick? And then, yeah, so I erased it with my beauty blender and then I'm fixing it now well I'm trying to fix it I'm getting this shade as a transition why didn't I use transition shade first wow Victoria okay so I had to repeat it because I was like no this is not working out so I tried it first in this eye and then this is the look that I want so I'm gonna show you how I came up with this look in this eye. Using my LH333, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Ultra Gel Liner. And make a wing. And then I'm gonna make another wing from here. I'm going to fill this out. Using my LH303, I'm gonna dip it again in the Bobbi Brown. Actually, I forgot I need to put a transition color, so I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Essential, no, shading brush. Actually, yeah, essential brush. Um, and place a transition color. I'm using this as my transition color, by the way. I'm gonna use my Zoeva 234 and use this shade right here. It is not cooperating, you guys. I don't know why. I'm going to use LH305 and use this color right here. 
I'm gonna put it all over my lid just until here. I'm going to put it all the way in my inner corner up until in my lower waterline. Using my Pat McGrath uh, liner, I'm gonna make like a fox eye or like a cat eye in the inner corner. And I'm gonna put it all the way here. This look was actually harder than I imagined. Ugh, why did I choose this look? I don't even know. <sighs> and that's it. I'm just going to put some falsies and get back to you. And this is the final look. And that's it for the three looks. And as for my review, I love it. Like everything Pat McGrath, I love it. I haven't been disappointed with any of her products just yet, so hopefully it's a streak. If you like this video, please hit the like, share, comment your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!